This is the Hosimamburu II Central Management Prison. Here, between 1902 and 1989, 3,500 men were to be hung under the death penalty law of the apartheid government. The first place where you began before the apartheid government could kill you under the law of death penalty was the holding cells. Here, nine men each and every day waited their execution. At 6.50 in the morning, the guards would line up barefoot prisoners, handcuff them on their bags, and they would start their climb leading up to the execution chamber that was called the 52 steps to heaven. At 6.55, the prisoners are lined up against the wall. The sheriff of the court, the head of prison, and the head of security are in the room. Wardeners face the prisoners and handed white hoods. They are placed on the prisoner's head with a front flag folded back. Cut. Cut. Go! Go! Seven prisoners are led into the execution chamber to be hung simultaneously. The weight and the height of the prisoner was to give a measure as to how long the rope that was going to be used to hang him would be. The sheriff would wait for the telephone to notify them if there was a last minute pardon to the execution. This phone call you would get from the president and he was the only one that could save you at this moment. None of the 3,500 men on death row were ever pardoned or saved by the president. After the fussing and fighting, the twitching, the screaming, the kicking against the rope. The man is dead. The cops are packaged into coffins. They will be brought down one by one, lined up in front of the chapel before the family arrives. The families will not even see or touch the faces of their loved ones because what they will see is a little ticket just indicating who is the man that is lying in the wooden box. We don't know the pains of those that have lost their loved ones, nor do we know the story of the perpetrator. But when it comes to death penalty, the one question remains, can we kill people to prove that killing people is wrong?